Hello, my name is Laura Alameri and I wrote this article on a real estate pricing strategies that work, especially as real estate investor. This is a big dilemma. A lot of the investors that I work with they say, okay, I understand how to find properties and analyzing deals, but at the end of the day, what should I price this property at? So I just want to give you some pointers here in this article, but there are basically three key elements that you should be aware of when pricing a property. Number one, you need to run a CMA, a comparative market analysis. And how do you get this information? Well, you have to use basically the MLS. So if you're not an agent, have an agent run it for you. But this is one of the advantages of working or specializing in an area. So that's why I tell uh, my investors, instead of going and trying to work all over a big metropolitan area, maybe concentrate on three, four zip codes, because then you get to know the zip codes better and you need to run a CMA only a couple, every couple of months to kind of see what the market trends are doing. So really you don't have to run a CMA every single time, okay? It's just basically to give you an idea and you compare the values of properties and what they're selling for, actually you wanna look at the sold, not really the active or the pending, to the property that you're trying to price. So that's the first key element running a CMA. Now the second one is obviously the uh, famous sliding scale or set, rule of 70 as many wholesalers call it. Well, I wouldn't be as strict as call it rule of 70. I think I would have to be on a sliding scale nowadays between 70 to 85 percent of the ARV the actual retail value. And what do I mean by this? Well, the fact is it depends on the property, depends on the area, the supply and the demand. And sometimes offering only 70% might not get you many deals, especially if you're in a competitive area. So you have to look at other factors and prices somewhere in between 70 to 85%. The other uh, element is uh, how to price it just below a rounded number. So let's say the property is a $300,000 property, great, or even 310, but you want to price it 299. Uh, the same thing, you know, if it's a million dollar property, you price it 995. So the reason being is psychologically, uh, first of all, people feel obviously it's a much better deal than a 300,000. And second of all, people tend to run searches in rate, uh, ranges of numbers. So maybe up to 300,000. So you want to just be below what they're looking for. Okay. So if you keep these three elements in place, this is the most important thing that you will have uh, in putting together the right pricing strategy. I hope this helped.